Right, hello guys. Um, I just made this video and I forgot to turn on my mic. So yeah, I'm not too happy but anyway we're going to be making an app today. Uh, you can do this literally if you have a Mac and you don't know anything about programming but if you want to actually make your own game without watching stupid tutorials like this one then you're going to need to actually learn the code, okay? Uh, this is just showing you how easy it can be once you know what to do. So we're going to start off and we're going to make a game which is a bit like this. Okay? It's really simple and it's not even a game. Uh, yeah, so don't try putting this on the App Store because people will get annoyed. So basically you drag the square around and if you hit this stupid triangle thing, uh, it's going to say you died. Okay? So we're going to close out with this. Uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Computer's going so slow lately. Yeah, we're gonna go into the app store. This is where you're gonna get Xcode from. I think it's five dollars literally. That's not a lot of money. Um I don't know what app we're playing at, but it's like five dollars on here. Let me show you. Look, it's no it's three pound on here. Uh, if we go on developer.apple.com click on iOS when it pops up yeah iOS and literally I think oh, it's, yeah it's free you can just get it off there for free <laughs> but yeah anyway uh, there you go so once you download it install it blah 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 blah, blah. open up a uh, new Xcode thing so how we do that we launch Xcode down here and we're gonna click yeah, when you launch Xcode, you're going to get this. We're just going to click Create New Project. And now this is uh, quite a decision you have to make before making an app. It's a very easy decision once you know what you're doing, honestly. <laughs> Navigation app, you should know what they are. Uh, apps, I don't know. Let's say, for example, uh, settings. I'm just gonna take everyone's got settings on their iPhone, I suppose. So settings. Uh, you at the top. There's a. You know, you click on a uh, pane, and you can go back by clicking the button at the top. That's exactly what navigation-based uh, applications are. But we're gonna go for view-based. They're probably the easiest ones, and they're probably the most creative ones, uh, which you can make to make simple games. But for complex games, which are like 3D and all that, you probably need OpenGL. Uh, which is a little bit different and you're not going to be able to do that straight off so we're going to go into view base click next uh, we're going to call it whatever you want this is just where you call wherever you are wherever you want we're going to call it dodge shit okay <laughs> yeah anyway next 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 uh, save it to your desktop save it wherever you want don't care uh, right so this menu right here is basically the main thing uh, the main summary info basically the overview of your app so we're not going to make a game in landscape it's just going to be in portrait uh, deployment target will be 4.3 means is that's the latest one you can do universal apps but literally we're just going to start on this okay so over here and I'm just going to move this over. Ah, use my other mouse. So, over here we have our headers and our declaration files. And this is the view. Uh, so, this is what you will see. And these are what go on behind what you see. Okay? So, first of all, we're going to go over to the view ship controller. Oh shit, view controller, sorry. And um, we're going to click up here to open up this other pane. And click the first tab, it comes in handy. Uh, scroll down on here, or any objects thing. And find this one, it is like a sun and mountains and stuff. It's called image view, it's called the UI image view, uh, to be precise. Just drag it over, it's going to be quite big. Uh, we have to go into this one over here, this little tab thing. Uh, go into image and this is where we'll be dragging our image files which we're going to use as earlier you've seen I had a triangle 
and a square so we're just going to grab out that triangle and square from some way so go into your finder get any picture whatever you want uh, I think mine was in here yeah so we're just going to drag these in from here uh, drag them into your main folder uh, you can't go wrong just click finish and it's there and then go back into your view controller why are you saying this yeah go back in there if it's saying no selection just click it again it'll pop up uh, in the image pane we're just going to make that one out square it's obviously quite big so just resize it by dragging the corners now it's a rectangle yeah make it a square make it a nice amazing square just like mine drag in another one which is going to be our triangle select triangle uh, make it smaller to wherever. Personally, I make them smaller, but I really don't care. So next, we're gonna head over into our header file. This is just like the shortest one, so you don't need to worry. Uh, we can close this now to make things a little bit bigger or smaller. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna head over into our header file and then we just go into do a few lines of code literally it's hardly anything so after your squiggly bracket as I call them just do a new two lines or one line I just like to make things tidy so I've done two lines honestly it makes zero difference UI image view uh, basically we just link in the view controller uh, to what we're gonna make happen and we're linking this file to the objects which we have in the view. Okay, so UI uh, image view. This here will give you a list of different things which you can use. If you scroll down, you'll probably find them. But once you start typing, it will give you uh, the best possible uh, suggestion. Uh, we're going to call the first shape one to a uh, semicolon. Semicolons, not colons. I've seen a lot of people make that mistake, and yeah. Same again. Just gonna name it two for the other one. CG point position. Now I'm not gonna go through everything I write because I'll literally be here two days. I've already had to record this like twice, so yeah. After this squiggly line, we're gonna do hyphen bracket, no more bracket now. Void uh, check. Collision. Check collision doesn't mean anything right now, but we're gonna declare it later, and we're gonna call it something. Uh, make it do something. So we're gonna do at property non-atomic, and we wanna retain it too. And after that, we're gonna use UI image view, and we're gonna do number two, because that's the one is not gonna move or move. So head over our into our .m file if you know what that is. It's just over here. So we just done the the header file. Now we're doing uh, declaring stuff that happens. Make sure in the view controller mind and not anything else. Okay, so after implementation, we're going to do at synthesize. Uh, basically, and the property is two. See, it does a lot for you in this new Xcode. It's very clever stuff. Yeah. Just do an enter. Uh, where it says void uh, deallocate, uh, I'm just going to leave that. And we're going to come back to that later. Yeah, anyway. Uh, after that, we're going to type hyphen space bracket void bracket touches began uh, we can use the first one uh, ns set that'll do ui event yeah. and after that just do one of them squiggly bracket thing ui touch enter space wherever you want to type asterisk touch two open brackets event all touches uh, any object close bracket hyphen 
uh, not hyphen, uh, semicolon, sorry. CG point location equals touch. I probably lost you by now. I sometimes lose myself. Uh, but just go back over things. You don't understand what each command do. As more you do it, the better you get. You know, practice makes perfect. You know, great example. Uh, touch dot view. Uh, so basically, that's just you know, tell it the reference point is anywhere we touch inside the view. Uh, so we do one dot center uh, equals location uh, self check collision and there we go uh, after that we have this uh, void deallocate just uh, after this just enter we'll deal with that later so do again void and uh, this is where we're going to do uh, our uh, well if they intersect with each other sorry check Collision. Um, yeah, I'll do squiggly bracket thingy, my Bob. I'm gonna do if statement, okay? Ah, uh, I already put that in. If you look, clever thing. Our condition is CG rect intersect rect. Something's wrong. One dot frame. Two dot frame. Pretty simple. Nothing exactly not to get. Statements we don't have any yet. A UI alert view. Basically, tell it to pop up when we intersect with when uh, the first object intersects with the second object. It's gonna. This is just telling it to bring out a, a UI image view, a, a alert view. Sorry, which is the little box that says something like a push notification. Alert equals two brackets. UI alert view. Uh, allocate, allocate to the screen, uh, and then we're gonna do edit with title, and you can see it does it all for you. So just click enter with title, uh, game over. I have a really bad cold, so sorry about this. Would you like to continue? This would be nil and cancel button with title and continue. Continue master ob1. I don't spell that, sorry, I think it's a y. There you go. <laughs> Wait, we haven't got no other button, uh, other titles, Let's just call it nil and hyphen end that. After that, uh, we're gonna type alert show. This is telling it to pop up, and then this is telling it uh, when it's tapped, just go go away, <laughs> basically. And that's that done, basically. Yeah. Now after these two, we're gonna do another one. Sorry, you probably hate me by now. Uh, hyphen, uh, hy hyphen, bracket void again, touches. Moved, yeah, blah blah blah, blah. close figgy, uh, self touches began, yes, they did, uh, with event touches, sorry, oh, why can't I spell touches with event, event, yeah, event, oh, my voice sounds so stupid, um, but yeah, after this, then again, type. Void, I think this is the last bit for you. Yeah, it is. Void on timer close for you. Two dot center, so it's the middle uh, where it's going to move to. Uh, the middle, uh, second object. Confuse me now, look. CG point make, yeah, that one. Uh, two dot center dot x and pose dot x. Yeah, I didn't that right. Two dot center dot y and pose dot y. All right. So if you make a mistake like I just did, well I didn't, but yeah. See this little 
a red little bugger over here, he will pop up and he'll tell you, you know, you just made a mistake, go back and correct your work. Uh, basically that is a really good system, you probably will hate it if you start developing, it's really annoying, so it doesn't always tell you what's wrong, you know. Uh, it does it, it's telling us to put one of them, uh, which is actually what we're going to do. Uh, just showing you that, you know, it's a very good system when coding years ago they never used to have things like that and they used to have to go back and look for errors and yeah this just does it all for you so very good so we're going to do an if statement again 2.center.x it's bigger than 320 or smaller than sorry 320 these two vertical lines you find them next to your enter key if you're on a window at uh, windows a uh, british keyboard Otherwise, I don't know where they are. Uh, close bracket. Again, pose dot x equal. We're going to do the exact same thing again now, uh, just for you know y axis. So if two dot if you wanted rotation, if you get a little bit more complex uh, when you are later developing, uh, z axis uh, controls that. So, you should know this if you take maths. A lot of it is just maths. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, pose dot y equals minus pose dot y. Uh, don't forget to declare that at the end. And basically, I think that is it. Sometimes. Uh, we need to find this. Yeah, this bit here, that's not it, sorry. This bit here, see it's green? Well, it shouldn't all be green, basically. Uh, they've made a mistake, which many developers have recognized. And they didn't end the comment properly. Green means comments which somebody's made. Uh, but there shouldn't be a comment there, so just do an asterisk and forward slash, and it turns it back into a, into a, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so basically after view did load um, type in pose equals cg point make 14.0 uh, the reason I'm doing decimal places basically in the future if you want to change something is a lot easier if you put a decimal place and it looks a lot t uh, tidier sorry open bracket ns timer scheduled now this is going to type a lot for you. Uh, invocation, we do on that. We want a target ID. Okay, so we're just going to do that. NS time interval 0 0.05 seconds. So that's p pretty crazy. Target is going to be our self. Uh, selector is at selector, but it's on the timer. On timer. Uh, use info nil. Repeat. Yeah, we want it to repeat. We want it to keep going. We don't stop, do we? Don't forget at the end of that, uh, make sure yes in capital letters, do close bracket, you know, semicolon. And from there on, you just need to delete this part of the code, see it does tell you when something is not needed and it's there. And don't feel, yeah, just need to get rid of that, just, there you go, and that's done. Now we need to go back into our view controller. You know, we wrote all this code, but we didn't link it back to the view controller. Like I said earlier, Everything we write in these two files uh, will have to be linked back because it's what's happening underneath. But if you don't link it back, then it can't control one another. So, I'm going to go back into the view controller and we're going to open up this pane again and go over to this little thing. Not files, files owner. I really do not know what I'm saying today. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, go to the files owner over here, uh, click this little tab over here. And click on the object you want to link something to. So we want to link item number one. I think it was a square. I can't entirely remember. Doesn't matter anyway. Uh, link the triangle to number two. And once you've done that, hit Command S to save. No issues. Uh, click Run. And this is going to compile it for the iOS simulator, and we can test our app. See if everything went fine. Uh, it's not going to take a while. It's not going to take a while. I repeat, not because it's not a very big game. I have to blow my nose, like, now. Okay, so when it opens up, 
uh, we're gonna get uh, some crappy ass thing. Um, we can drag this around uh, and try and avoid the triangle, but the in inevitable outcome is gonna be we're gonna hit this triangle. Ah, and it's gonna come up with a question. Uh, a UI alert, sorry, which is uh, user interface alert, which is what you see now, the little blue box. And if you get that, well done. You have done everything right. If you haven't, go back and change it. If you're really still stuck and everything looks the same, it's definitely not. But contact me, and I will help you with that. Okay. So, I hope I've all inspired you to be a great game developer. And there's a lot of money in this, I promise. Uh, but it's a lot of learning too. So you know, no pain, no gain. Uh, but yeah, I hope you learned something. And. See you later.